Okay, today we're going to talk about the last four gates of Lamed that will to balance, to always achieve balance, equilibrium within the astral realm and relationship with other. So the first three gates integrate prim primarily Bina with this, this uh, gate. Um, so the first one is a quadrangle. It goes from Gedula to Yesod, okay? Then Yesod straight up to Bina. Then Bina over to Hokma, and Hokma down to Gedula, okay? And then back. So this one integrates Bina and Hokma into Lamed. And the most important part of this gate well, there's two really important parts. The first is that rise up to Bina, and you know, a con consequent uh, descent from Bina into Gajula. And the second uh, really important part is that descent into Gajula from Hakma. Okay, those are the parts to look out for in this game. The next gate is also a quadrangle, and it starts as before, Gajula down to Yesod, Yesod straight up to Bina, and then Bina to Kether, and Kether straight down to Gedula. And again, it's that the important parts are that rise up to Bina, and then it's sent into Gedula, okay? Now the third gate is a pentangle, and it starts as before, from Gedula, to Yesod, Yesod straight up to Bina, and then we go from Bina to Kether, and Kether to Hokma, and Hokma down to Gedula. So this gets the whole supernal realm involved, okay? Now, the fourth and final gate doesn't involve Bina, instead it involves Hokma entirely. And this is where the important movement is in the final gate. So we start from Gedula, go down to Yesod, come up from Yesod straight up to Hakma, and then Hakma down to Gedula. So it's really direct, you know, uh, integration of Hakma and the realm of undifferentiated essential meaning with this urge to balance. Okay. So that completes all of our work with this gate and this path of Lama. Okay. And next time we'll begin the work with the path of Nun and Scorpio, which really finalizes uh, uh, yes, so until then, bye-bye.